Hey guys, we've had some uh, questions on how to set up a long hose rig. Um, so what we've got here is we've got a nice little first stage, uh, two second stages, a couple of pile of hoses. So what you're going to need for this tutorial, like I said, one first stage, two second stages, two adjustable spanners. If you're going to use adjustable ones, make sure you use high quality ones so they don't move when you're using them. If you're using cheap, cheap ones, um, they might end up damaging your hose fittings, which you don't want. You're gonna have a naked pressure gauge on a 61 to 66 centimeter high pressure hose. You're going to have a 56 centimeter regulator hose. You're gonna have a 56 centimeter inflator hose for the wing and a 210 centimeter regulator hose. All right. We will not be covering um, bolt snaps and necklaces in this video. If you wanna learn how to do that, we'll make a different video for that. Okay, I also appreciate that not everyone has two second stages that do not have any yellow on it. So if you do have a yellow one because you're taking your rig set apart, that is going to be the primary one. That's going to be the one on the long hose. So the reason for that is really, really simple. Other divers in the water are looking for the yellow one in case they need gas. So if you want to, um, if you want to be able to supply them the yellow one, it's going to be the one that you want to supply, which is not the one on the necklace. It's going to be the one in your mouth. Okay. If you made the decision to buy a rig set and you bought a really, really cheap Octo, maybe now's a good time to upgrade and buy a new, uh, new second stage. Anyway, right. The reason we're going to use two spanners is we don't want to be using one spanner on the, um, on the fittings here on the regulator. We want to use one spanner to hold this in place so we're not putting any stress on the body or accidentally tighten this up any further. If you are changing, taking hoses on and off, it'd be a good idea to examine the quality of the O-rings both internally and on the other end of the hose if they need changing, now's a good time. If they look dry and cracked, definitely don't use them. Okay, so we're going to put one spanner on the regulator itself, just to hold it in place. And we're going to use the second one to nip it up. It does not need to be crazy tight. The O-ring is doing the sealing, it just needs to be tight enough so it doesn't come undone when you're, when you're using it like that when you're trying to do it by hand. All right, I'll move this out of the way. Then the 56 centimeter hose. Now if you're driving a wetsuit and you're very slim for example you can make this hose shorter. Okay we've had some customers that went down to 40 centimeters even 35 centimeters um, because what you don't want you don't want this to sit in the way of the D-ring. Okay so if you're finding that your setup is in such a way that it's obscuring the right side chest D-ring make this hose a bit shorter and that will solve that problem for you. Um, I'm just starting with 56 because it's kind of standard and if you're sort of average size in a dry suit with an undersuit that's going to work quite well. I'm going to nip this one up a little bit as well. Good. That one's already pre-assembled. All right so we're going to um, we're going to start putting the hoses on. I've got this set up pretty much how I would have it behind my head. So the pressure gauge is going to come down the left hand side and clip off on my left D-ring which means it will be in here. And again, as we're doing this, we're just examining the quality of the O-rings, make sure they're still good, they're still lubricated, not dry and cracked. And a little really gentle nip, it does not have to be crazy tight, just as long as it doesn't come undone. All right, the second one I'm gonna fit is the inflator hose for my wing, which is also coming off on the left-hand side. And if you do wanna put a hose on there for your dry suit, I suggest about 75 centimeters is good length. Um, again, depending on how big you are and um, whether you're wearing a dry suit or a wet suit, you're gonna make it comfortable for yourself. And then put the backup regulator in place. Make sure not to cross thread it. I would be very careful because you only have one first stage. And then finally, the long hose, which I'm going to put on top so it sits nice and out of the way. And you got to examine the regulator you got. Some, sometimes the ports are a little bit angled, and you just got to make sure that you are starting the right angle um, so that you don't end up damaging the thread. It's obviously a lot harder on video than it is when no one's watching you. <laughs> a 
A few moments later. And then we just nip it off the end. Take some of this coiling out. Cool. So there we have it. One long haul setup ready to go. Hey, if you like this video, click up here to subscribe and click up there to see more how-to videos.